2003 Chevy Silverado. It's got a little six inch Fabtech kit on it. Just a little rocker on it. So I masked everything off on the grill here to, uh, you know, paint this badge black. Cause I just took these off. These were on the truck when I got it. It's like these little, oh, this is the bottom. Just an idea of what it looks like. Obviously it was a lot cleaner than that, but so it went from this chrome front end to, okay, to this. And I just wanted to paint this black, but Instead of using Plasti Dip, which is just terrible, to make this look super tacky, I have this wrap line around. I had it all masked off and everything, so now I'm just gonna do my best. It's literally like exactly enough. So we'll see how I do. This should be pretty easy, but I'll walk you guys on how to do it. So first you wanna clean it. I already did, but I'll just spray it off again with this glass cleaner just to make sure. You just wipe it clean. You want to make sure that you get as deep as you can inside the edges here to uh, make that wrap stick inside there because you're going to want to cut it as close as you can then tuck it in so that it looks like it's just black. There's no lines or anything like that. Make sure you just get every little spot. Then we're going to measure out our wrap. So I measured out my piece. Make it a little bit longer than you need. You can just cut it off later. And then we're going to get our heat gun and start it at it. So there's always a little piece of film on it. Make sure that you take that off. Let's get started. touch the parts that you aren't going to use. Line it up and then just stick it on there. We're going to take it off in just a second. And start your beginning on one side here. Work your way over. And peel this back. And then you're just going to want to work it in. Pushing as evenly as you can to prevent bubbles. And we're just laying it right back where we originally stuck it. Make sure you just really loose with this hand. And if you have any bubbles, just quickly peel back and fix them. Because you will notice that later. And then just to make it easier on ourselves, we can start with the heat gun. On a fairly low setting. And you'll notice that it'll suck It kind of change it. It'll make it make it wavy around the edges and make it kind of softer. So you can almost just use this and just lay it down. closer look. So you just want to push it over really slowly. Once you have this, let's move it. You see it start to form on the edges. So you know where to cut. You can see it on camera actually there. You see the shaving over there? It's getting hot. Right everywhere. I'm gonna make it cut with a razor blade. Sharp as can be. Get a new one if you have to. Way better. This will slice right through it, trust me. You just rip right in like that. Now I'll show you. Uh, 
it looks like I probably messed it up in the first second I cut it. Might have to redo that, but you just cut along the edges. This will probably be an experiment now because I already messed it up. I cut it to the best I could, and then I heated up the edges to try and push it over and just shove them in so that they could stick. Um, as you can see, there was some bad cutting going around there. It's hard to tell where this is, but I figured out later if you stick your fingernail on it and then put that line, and then you can just cut on the line. It makes it a lot easier. So that'll fix this. I have a ton of wrap. I'll just redo it. Um, but the total look is pretty sweet. Plus, it doesn't look like Plasti Dip because it's actually like, I don't know, it kind of matches the chromish look. It's still like reflective, but it's black. Pretty sick. Cutting correctly is key. Making sure that you get the right lines and making straight cuts. Also on the edges, you have to make a little tiny slit so that you can cover each side without making a little... Can't focus that. A little stick up mark there. Um, it's hard to focus, but making a little slit on the corner so that you can fold over each side without making it stick up. Um, one last thing is I think that after making the initial, you know, everything is good on the flat face part, maybe stretching it out and then pushing it over, then cutting it so that it's like stretched and you can kind of push it in more. There's more material to work with to push it behind here. Um, and then those three things I think will make it turn out better next time. So let's let's try it again here All right, so we don't sweat that looks really good, but we're gonna take it all off I mean that looks nice too. have to admit um, But I think it's cool. Let's just try it just to learn how to wrap better and make this video. So here we go All right, so I got it laid out again um, I'm gonna start by rolling this top edge first uh, but making sure to kind of pull on it, but don't touch it because then it'll ruin the glue just by pushing it inward. You got that good? Just use a lot of heat. Just heat it up. Watch what happens. See how it gets all liquidy? That helps it mold better inside. So when you cut it and push it in, it'll actually go in and stick. All right, so we just hit our first corner. I just cut this little slit here. And I try and push it all down at once, but it's so difficult because it always wants to stick up. Uh, just more heat. Just pull this back. And that's it. So my GoPro died. Um, I finished it up. I did what I said. You just kind of stretch it over. Um, use your fingernail to run it across so you know where to cut. And cut the absolute farthest away from the badge you can. Um, if you're even an expert and you can run it across the top here without, um, you know, scratching the chrome right here and only going through the vinyl, that's legit. Like, you, it just takes a certain feel of going through just the vinyl and it's, it's actually pretty cool. Um, cuts are pretty nice, but it looks really good. Now let's get a back up view here. I just use my scraps and just put them all on the bumper, but you get the idea. That definitely makes a big difference. Here's what it looked like before. And now after. This is the wrap I used. Um, it was pretty much donated to me. Vivid Premium. Wouldn't say it's the most premium I've ever used, but um, I think this is just Amazon wrap. I want to keep trying out new things. Um, I might try and wrap this just for fun to see what it looks like. I'm, this is probably going to look better than it would if it was black, but um, I might try it out. But overall, it's pretty good. It really gives it a nice look. It's a lot better than painting it, masking all that off. It'd probably be a lot cleaner in the, on the edges and stuff, but that looks super good. Looks like it's just black from factory. 
Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Um, until next time.